Hey guys, it's Buddha Gem, and this is day seven of a video day for 30 days. Uh, we had a little bit of a goof up this weekend where a video I loaded on Saturday was set to private, so I re uploaded it on Sunday. Uh, so bear with me, but I am sticking to the challenge um, despite that little technical glitch. And uh, today I'm just going to answer a few questions that I got in my inbox from Ian Hartman, and uh, I'll just jump right into it. Do you know of any anarchist groups in North New Jersey? Um, what comes to mind is NEFAC, the uh, Northeast Federation of Anarcho-Communists. How active they are at this point, I can't tell you. Um, my, my advice, though, would be not to seek out um, specifically anarchist groups. Um, quite frankly, they tend to be pretty lame. <laughs> um, you want to seek out groups that uh, align with your, your ide ideals and your principles. Um, for instance, some of the, the most radical and interesting groups here in the city aren't anarchist groups per se, but yet they abide and, and practice by, you know, along anarchist principles. So Fury here in New York City, that's Families United, Against, United for Racial and Economic Equality. Um, they're awesome. Uh, probably not a single person um, that's within that group considers themselves an anarchist. And yet I feel, and many other anarchists that I know, feel very at home uh, working with them. Um, so don't get hung up on ideology so much. Find people that are doing good work where you live and get involved. Um, I think that's where anarchists um, can be of most uh, help, you know, really. Number two, is Buddhism like a form of psychology. I, I think it's often viewed that way here in the West. Um, you know, it's all this stuff up here in the head, meditation, etc. Um, I don't quite view it like that. I think uh, psychology seems to be stuck on, like, uh, you know, the, what, what's wrong with you. Um, Buddhism is much more uh, focused on developing skillful qualities. Um, for instance, you know, being able to see, understand better how our mind operates, how we sometimes react quickly to things, slow those things down, react in a more mindful manner. Um, so I, I think the idea that it's a form of psychology is often misplaced by Westerners in general. Um, when is the next great meeting or other Occupy event for talking and discussing? Um, there, there's stuff all the time. Like I, I've said in recent videos, I really think Occupy has ran its course. But if you're you're super interested still, which is awesome. I mean, not to denigrate, you know, there's still a lot of great people that are involved in it. Um, you know, you can check out uh, a few different websites: Occupy.net, InnerOccupy.net, um, OccupyWallST.org. Uh, there are a lot of different sites. Um, those are a few I'd recommend. Um, there's popular assemblies and th there's there are meetings and stuff happening all the time, um, depending on where you're at. Really, here in the city, there's really there is a lot of stuff still going on. Um, and how can I get involved with Occupy with limited time? Well, that's the that's the problem we all have. I think none of us, or well, I should say, most of us don't have 24 hours a day to devote to some form of activism. So, you know, that's why it's so important to not just seek out an anarchist group, but seek out a group that you really, like, you like the people, you like what they're doing, and you want to be involved in it, you feel a passion. You have to be passionate about what you're doing to, to you know, invest your time and energy and often resources into some activity. And, you know... How can you get involved? Well, you find out, figure out how much time you've got, you know? And oftentimes, when you find something you're really passionate about, the time issue really doesn't become that, it, it's usually not that relevant, because when you're really passionate about something, you can find time for it. Um, you know, but like I said, you know, really, follow your heart, you know? Be smart about it, but, you know, if you really feel jazzed about something, jump in there, you know, and give it whatever time you've got. You got a few hours here and there, maybe jump on a phone, maybe help some people make signs. I mean, you know, you don't need 24 hours a day to devote to this. It can be, uh, you know, a few minutes here and there, a couple hours here and there. It's really up to the individual. There's not, there's no such thing as too little time to devote. Any, any little bit of time you have to devote to making this a better world is awesome. 
you know, and, and, I, and I often think that the more time you devote into something that you really believe in, uh, it'll just be easier to find more and more time, you know. Um, and finally, what are some good sources on anarchism? Uh, the internet abounds. Uh, the Anarchist Library is a great site. It's got a ton, ton, ton of material. Uh, the Institute for Anarchist Studies, uh, the Anarchist FAQ, um, it really, the internet is a bound. You can go back and look at some of my older videos, and I'll be doing more videos. But if you go back and look at some of my older ones, um, I often, within the video, I've provided tons of links to great anarchist sites. Um, but like I said, the anarchist uh, library, and I'll, I'll try to provide a link in this uh, sidebar, is a really great source for just a ton of great writings by anarchists from you know, the early days of Bakunin uh, all the way up to more modern writers uh, like Cindy Milstein, um, you know, runs the gamut. So I would check that out. Uh, the Anarchist FAQ is always a good stop off if you're just getting into this. Um, and, you know, like I said, some of my early videos, uh, Mr. 1001 Nights has some great videos on anarchism. Uh, Chomskyan, uh, those three that come to mind. So those are the answers. Um, one thing I don't have time to get into, Mr. 1001 Nights has a video about uh, meditation. I do want to respond to that, but I won't be doing it in this video. But uh, it is on my radar. So I think that's it. And uh, I hope you guys are all having a great week, and I will see you soon.